Wow. So Parkinson's, so Jacob, you have you have citrophrenic, autism, and Parkinson's? Yeah. Well, he has dysautonomia. They haven't come out and said it's Parkinson's, but they have labeled him with epilepsy and the dysautonomia. Wait, four things? Epilepsy, Parkinson, yeah. citrophrenic, yeah. and autism? beautiful CVPs. It's a beautiful day to be alive. It's early in the morning, right? It's like 6 30 a.m. and today we're gonna head out to Mary and Jacob to save the green wing maca Sam. So Sam <laughs> has heavy metal poisoning since two weeks. He's not eating. He is puking. He is like his poop is all yellow and it's really really bad and I just hope he can survive because it's been two weeks now since they found out and it's like poisoning his body. No vet, no vet wants to do surgery on this bird and get the middle out. She's just getting like shots for him and she already paid I think over $2,000 on vet bills. Sam really, really needs surgery today and I'm gonna do an act of kindness. I'm gonna drive over to her house. It's like an hour drive. <laughs> pick her up and then drive her to a brand new vet that we just met and he is in San Diego so it will be for me a six hour drive today to save Sam the macaw so it will be one hour from me from Pasadena to her place two hours from her place to San Diego and then drive her back and then come back home so I'll be six hours today on the road and I hope that doctor is gonna do surgery and it's gonna help the macaw get the metal out of his system. Here are two x-ray shots. He has two metal in his body. One is stuck in his crop and one is stuck in his stomach and it's poisoning his body. They have no food. They spend all their money on vets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in my refrigerator and bring them a bag of food. So let's do it before we head out. So what do I have in my refrigerator? So much stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them bagels. We're gonna give them some cookies. Um, we're gonna give them yeah, tons of apples. We are gonna give them. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna give them some flour tortillas and some bread and some scones. Look at this bag full of stuff and full of stuff. Okay, that's it. So, this is the bag. A few moments later. All right, guys, it's 7 a.m. right now, and I'm heading out to help Mary. And I have everything in the car. Hours later. Okay, guys, so I'm still driving. I'm almost there. I'm just three miles away to Mary and Jacob's place. Once we get there, we're gonna load Sam in the car and hope that we can get to the vet as soon as possible. There's lots of traffic on the road. Our appointment today is at 10.30 a.m. And again, um, he's an amazing vet and I really hope that he can save Sam's life because Mary was, I think, at three different avian exotic vets and nobody's gonna do surgery on, on Sam to take out that metal and the metal is poisoning his body. Also, Sam is a service animal, so what happened is Jacob, Jacob is, um, he has autism and slight citrophrenic tendencies so he needs Sam, he needs Sam. He and Sam, Jacob and Sam are like this. So I hope really that Sam can survive so that Jacob will be better. But we'll be right now there and then I'm gonna vlog the whole trip. And yeah, and 
I just I just pray I just pray and hope that the doctor can save Sam's life because we need Sam Jacob needs a few moments later and guys finally I got a I got a phone holder for my car so no more vlogging with a hand I can just put it on my awesome magnetic holder and this is so cool I love it I love it yeah so we'll be right now arriving probably like in three minutes it's eight o'clock right now I drove one hour to get there and now we'll take another two hours to get to San Diego to the vet lots of driving and lots of traffic so much traffic. Traffic, 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 traffic. A few moments later. There they are. Good morning. Jake usually rides up front. Good morning. Oh, okay. Good morning, then, Jacob. Um, hi. Good morning. Oh, hi, awesome. Sam. How's Sam doing? <laughs> He's Hello. doing a little better. Oh, Hello. Yeah? But he needs that medal. Yeah, we gotta get the medal. Oh, Sam, we're gonna save you today. Hey, hey, we're be gonna nice. save you today. Nice. Okay, okay, let's get in the car. Okay. So Jacob wants to go in the front. Okay, get in. So I have to put in the address from the vet. I didn't put it in yet. Okay, and it will be a two-hour drive. Yeah, it's down Encinitas, down yeah. past Oceanside. Yeah, it's really far. But traffic wasn't too bad, but it was really congested. The 57 because 7 to the 91 is going to be really congested. Yeah. I was going to have you make a left down here on Whittier Boulevard. Yeah. And we'll cut through the neighborhood and take okay, the Boulevard to Central to get on the 57. Yeah. So we have right now Mary and Jacob in the car, and Sam is here, and we really want to get the metal out of him. So, how have Sam been, been feeling? Not so good. I've been giving him chelation through milk and then milk thistle to keep his liver and kidneys and stuff, his renal system detoxed okay. from it because he's got a little bit of liver damage, is what the tests are showing. And oh stuff. my gosh. But if I keep the milk thistle going, that's why she's asking. She's like, Do you still have the milk thistle going? I'm like, Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not stupid. And then we just got lactose. You can chelate them for the metal with milk the same as humans humans it's milk and raw egg but you need to get the lactose free milk okay yeah because the birds are can't break down the lactose so you're okay if you get the lactose free milk what happens is the metal binds to the proteins in the milk rather than the tissue and bone in the bird all right so it's kind of like uh the calcium EDTA, but natural style <laughs> Yeah, so we really want Sam to get safe today and get surgery and get this metal out of his system. So can you tell us what was your experience with the other vets? Like they were all like unfriendly and they were weird to you and they didn't want to do surgery? Yeah, no, they didn't want to do surgery. They didn't think that, the, but they're exotics. The avians were saying he needs surgery and he needs chelation. They were saying he just needs the chelation, the exotics. And you did that two weeks, right? Yeah, we've done it two weeks. We've been to Westminster Animal Clinic and then to uh, Access. And they were Animal lousy. Hospital. Both of them were lousy? Yeah, not very good communication. Dr. Shackling was good at first with the communication, but then she left for a couple of days off. And Dr. Pillman did not come out and talk to us at all. What? Like she the said vet she didn't would. come out at no, all not no, to talk to you? Not at all. I wow. was so upset. And Do you then, know why? And then, no, they just say he was too busy. I'm like, how are you too busy? Because you have to I save didn't leave bird. him in the hospital with him is probably why. And we didn't leave him in the hospital with him because he's Jake's service. Oh. And he gets stressed if he's not around Jake. So tell me more about the service animal thing. Like, the um, service animal, they, why? Can, they can be written up as service animal under medical. It doesn't matter if they're doing medical. Like with Sam, we, we had to. It wasn't like his doctor just wrote it up. See, he wants to get up with Jake. Aww. It wasn't like his doctor just wrote it up or anything. Uh -huh. I had to actually show him that he was doing the medication reminding, that he was doing helping with the wandering, with so, the seizures, you know, the, and the drops of the blood pressure. I had to show all of this, just like you would do with a dog. It wasn't any different. And see, Sam's with the bird, too. 
you also have to have the shots and you have to have the silicosis screening and all that stuff. So Jacob is getting shots or Sam is getting shots? Sam had to get shots. Yeah. Sam had to get shots. Sam had to be screened for the silicosis because that's what's uh, dangerous for humans. The chlamydia virus. Yeah. Yeah. So, so why all the screening. Why is Sam a, 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 a Sam a um, service animal? Is it because Jacob is his for his, yes, for his diagnosis, yes. For what, his seizures and stuff. Jacob, what, Jacob's primarily schizophrenic and autism. Schizophrenic. And autism. And those are the umbrellas, and then everything else falls under there. He has social phobia, oh my panic gosh. attacks. Right now, is his, what Sam helps with, he has uh, dysautonomia, which is basically, it's uh, This Parkinson's. way? Yes. Just follow my GPS, right? Yeah. Because we're going to head to the 57 this way. There's yeah. less lights. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> less traffic. Yeah. So basically, no, Jake has dysautonomia, which is like Parkinson's. And wow. Sam so knows... Parkinson's. So Jacob, you have you have citrophrenic, autism, and Parkinson's? Yeah. Well, he has dysautonomia. They haven't come out and said it's Parkinson's, but they have labeled him with epilepsy and the dysautonomia. Wait. Four things? Epilepsy? Parkinson? Yeah. Citrophrenic yeah. and autism. Yeah, and then that's there's stuff that happens. Wow. Yeah, his autonomic nervous system is not working right, and see, so Sam knows before he even knows that his wow. blood pressure is gonna drop. So and he's gonna pass out. Wow. Or he's gonna. And he's in a complex seizure. He's disassociated. You know, not here. He's yeah. somewhere else, and Sam will nip him on the side of the neck. So tell me how um, Sam helps Jacob to overcome all these diseases or these disorders. He he warns for them before we even know really? that they're gonna come. Yeah. Wow. And then when it's pretty now, awesome. Wow. I trained him for the medication reminding with the alarm. I'd say a pill time, you know, every time. Now the alarm doesn't even have to go off. He starts acting up like, hey, hey. Sam is Sam is alarming you to take medication. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. And we're working on now also stranger danger. Sam's helping him with that too. What's so stranger danger? Because Jake doesn't realize some people can be danger. So oh, Sam will start tugging danger. on his shirt or on his backpack really hard. Like, let's go. And warn Jacob for or strangers who are crazy no, or weird yeah, or like yeah, who wants to like harm when him. We were up in Culver City. We had a couple. They they chased us down from the Wendy's all the way up. I think we're on what? Washington Boulevard, a couple blocks. With Sam? Yeah. And the, and the guy was positioning himself behind Jacob okay. to try and get Sam. <gasps> and Sam started tugging on his shirt and on his backpack. And the guy noticed, so the guy kind of backed off. Wow. And so I was like, oh, time to go. Sam wants to leave. <laughs> I really want him to get saved. Sam. No, he, he, does get a lot. he does a lot. And you can, yeah, you can teach them. Sam, re or Jacob reads to him. It's okay, Sam. He's so precious and like I post up the so videos precious. and stuff he understands what people are talking about and responds okay wow and that's why I'm like <laughs> no that's why his doctor was like no he's definitely and I and I still you know his doctor had me send fresh video uh -huh. you know to make sure Sam's still doing his thing Okay. But so, if you look up on the Ada law, it's whatever gives them the, the disabled person the most access and independent ability, you know, for independence. So it can fall under them, it can fall under state, it can fall under county, or it can fall under medical. Sam's under medical. Wow. So that's why when we had the problem with UC Davis, Ada, and the patient advocate stepped in and said there needs to be a reasonable accommodation made. For them to be medically seen mm -hmm. together. Okay. And so they were made to make a reasonable accommodation. And they did. Yes. They wrote it up and yeah. now Sam is official a service animal. Yes, yes. That's why I'm like, I won't change it to you. 
you know, to the ESA because I've fought long and hard and a lot of training and, and we're still training. That's what a lot of people don't understand and not every parrot is suitable for service, just like not every dog is suitable for service. So, so if you're coming looking to do this, you need to match the person up with the bird and then you need to see if the bird is able to be trained for stuff. Okay, he's eating now pistachios. That's the only thing he's eating right now? Yeah, he's eating maybe two or three pellets a day and then maybe a couple bites of chalk, but basically, yeah, just the nuts. Which is thing. fine because it's more protein because he won't eat peanut butter. He'll eat almond butter, but he hates peanuts. Yeah. So we can't get him to eat the peanut butter. That's another heavy metal thing for birds to give them to help um, flush the pieces out. Oh, wow. Look at this traffic. Oh my gosh. Traffic. And we are in Kapul. I love Kapul. For all the European watchers, Kapul is a lane. Specifically, if you have two people or more in the car, you can go on carpool. <laughs> but those people all, they're all driving alone. They're all alone in the cars, so they all get the normal road. And because we have two and more people in our car, we have, we have the privilege of carpooling, which is so awesome. So thank you, America, for the invention of carpool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because with carpool, we can just woof, 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 like flush, flush through. That means like just we like, like what you call it, like just like dash through. Yeah, I love it. Jam on. Jam on. You <laughs> jam through, and that's the the law is two or more people in the car, and we are one, two, three, three people and one bird. Yeah, that's one bird. So that's we like have four wait. people in the car. That's like a wait, four people. I can't. <laughs> yes, yeah, the best one up there. <laughs> Seventeen-year-olds. Yeah. Oh my gosh, teenagers. So also, so Mary and Jacob, they are not driving. They have no car, and you guys have been Ubering to save what? Is that your ringtone? No, that's his pill alarm. See, Sam's looking. He took his pills already. You saw. Oh, okay. You saw <laughs> I was like, him. Is that your you ringtone? saw him. So don't start because he'll start acting up. Is what he does. And, Hi, hello. <laughs> Hi, hello. That's why he was looking like, and I was oh. like, he already took his pills. <laughs> so tell me about like the trouble with carpooling. No, like getting Uber to the vet. Like what's Uber and uh, and and how was it for you to use Uber to go with Sam to the vet? And how did the Uber driver react to Sam having a service animal in the car? Oh no, they love Sam. They like they do? Sam better than the dogs because they. Say Dogs get fur all over their car. <laughs> you can take cars and Uber? Huh? Uh, you can take dogs and Uber? Service dogs, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Know. And they prefer him more than they do. A couple of them said, no, don't have a problem with the birds and dogs. Do you? Dogs shed all over. Wow. Do you? And he has his poop suit on, his yeah. flight suit. So yeah. he's pooping on his suit. So there's no poop in the car. Yeah, he has to wear that. So like when we go out to eat in restaurants, we go to the grocery store. to go to Culver City from La Hamra, yes. which is like 15 miles away. Yeah, yeah. From your house, so and round trip, 100 is, miles, 100 miles. Yeah, and round trip cost was $100. We wow. had, there was a couple days when we would get done before um, 4.30, and um, then at that time between four and five, it's premium rate. So I would check on Uber, and it'd actually be $75 to go home. So we would 
didn't have to sit there at the hospital and wait for that price to drop Aww. down to the lowest. The lowest it ever went was $47. 47 one for way. 50 miles one way to yeah. get him to the hospital to get his shots. Yeah, yeah. But wow. for a taxi, it would have been... Over 150 oh, Yeah. Easy. Over 150 And why are you not driving? I can't drive because I have no distance, no depth perception. So I cannot pass the eye test anymore. So they will not let me drive. I see. Yeah. I'm and then okay I saw drive, one time. But I just can't pass their test. <laughs> and there's so much bills on your Yoko GoFundMe page that you post, like all yeah, this cost I, that you put up for Sam just yeah. to save him. And then I saw one bill that there was a hundred eighty dollars Uber bill because yeah. hundred dollars cleaning fee. Why was that? Oh, that was Uber. That was when we um, came home with Sam on the first day, and Westminster had given him lavash tube feeding to um, get food in him because he had been vomiting and diarrhea, and they were trying to get food in him, and he was a little too full, so he threw up on me in the back seat of the car. He didn't even hit her car. It was all over me, my shorts and my shirt. But I got charged an eighty dollar cleaning fee. Eighty dollar uh, cleaning fee yes. for like it puking was up. Twenty eight dollars to come home, but then I got charged eighty dollars on top of that. Wow! And he didn't even get. I checked her. There was nothing on her seat. It was all over me. Did you make some pictures of me? Yeah, yeah. on the seat and everything. No, I didn't make pictures because I didn't think I. You know, she even looked. I said, look, it's not, you know, and she said, it's fine. It's on you. Mm. That's why when I saw the $80. After, she says, she says it was fine. It's on you. Yeah. So, and then at, at the end, she charged you $80. Yeah. 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 Wow. She got her car detailed for on us. Yeah. Wow. Basically. So you know, you I can dispute that. star rating. So, yeah, I called to dispute it. And they were like, no, our driver says. And I was like, I can't even send you pictures of my clothes. It was all on me. No, it didn't Because matter. my friend just posted on Facebook that she took her car ride home and they accused her of puking up and sent in pictures of her puking, but it wasn't her puke. So they was, those Uber driver was scamming her for extra money, $100 additional. And they were claiming she threw up and she That's didn't. Okay. It was and she, but she didn't throw up at all. So there's a scam going around in Uber, like, yeah. like, um, like saying like as as long as there's like just one drop of puke, like they just see money signs and they just scam people. So a lot of people just do it with other people, like they customers. And this is a scam going on that Uber is aware of. So she called an Uber, she sent pictures. They did do some investigation and uh, did refund her her money back. Oh, maybe then it's worth me pursuing more of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't get very far with them, but I have pictures of it. It's just on my clothes and stuff. But I didn't, like I said, I didn't think to take pictures of Steve because she was so nice, you know? You never and know so, how to end up being, okay. right? Yeah. Wow. That's so I thought, okay. That's crazy. That's why when I saw the eight I was like, what is this? But we were running so much, it took me a couple of days, and then I finally looked, went through the email receipts from Uber, and it was like, what? $80 on top of the 20 You know, we've adjusted cleaning, and I went, oh, wow. Like just yeah. for like, so yeah. So transfers. I'm like, okay, that's what my sister-in-law was like. You need to get that back because they were charging me thirty-five dollars for two trans, you know, a piece. So like, how much? Transfers and I had the money, you know. Why am I Crazy. getting charged for the transfer? So We've how? I've done that before though. Yeah, they're really greedy. They every time, even if there's one cent overdraft, they charge me thirty-five dollars. Yeah. It's well, see, so I wasn't overdraft. I just transferred what was available, and there was nothing else coming out. Because my checking account, the card is worn out, and that's a whole other story, too, because I'm waiting to get my uh, new driver's license in the mail. Oh. And so I've been transferring to my Easy Pay for my checking So you can drive? And using that card. You'll get a driver's license and you can drive?
drive? No, no, it's an ID. Oh, it's an ID, ID card. I'm used to saying driver's license, sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> um, it hasn't been gone long. So, how, how, how much did you spend already on all these vets since the past two weeks to save Sam? Almost 4000 4000 $800 easy for Uber, it was 1200 at Westminster, and then it was 1680 something. Wow. At, at, at access, access? At Access alone, yeah. I went through all of them and I went, oh my god. So, basically a month's pay. Yeah. Wow. And so that's why I'm like, and, and on top of that too, I had to take out uh, loans. I had to take out loans. You took out loans? I took out loans. So I've got loans that I'm going to be paying on. But he's worth it. Yeah, yeah. No, we, I was going to, when we got up to Access, my rent check hadn't gone through. And I was going to use that, that $1,600. But, um, then the rent check had posted, but I called Wells Fargo because I was going to put a stop payment on it. Because I was like, okay, we'll just be late. They'll charge us a late fee, but we need the money right now for Sam. But when I talked to the girl, and I swear the girl was on drugs, because she just kept saying, beautiful this, beautiful that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really odd. It was an after hours banker. But uh, now she said, even if she put the stop payment on it, we wouldn't have the money until tomorrow. Wow. So. less than two minutes and oh my gosh so this is the end of this car drive episode tune in tomorrow for the for the for the for part two of what the vet says and what the vet is gonna do with Sam I hope you enjoy this vlog don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button hit the subscribe button yeah what do you know what I have in my phone? tech saloon LA Fitness is here. Maybe on the other side. No, classic. Okay, I'm gonna pull over on the other side. This is a big yard. Uh, yeah, Jewelry. Yeah. All right, where are they? There's a 99 there cent go. store. Where? Did you see them? No, no, no. I'm calling. I found the number. Oh, there's no, there's a nail salon. I don't see them. Ask them they sweet number. Do we have, we don't have handicap pass? No.